Dave from Roselle, Illinois. I got a 2021 uh, FB, 10FB that is. Yeah, when I got it, I took all the, had all, the dealer take all the graphics off of it. And I put these on and I also put on the ones on the, the galley and then on the front. It's a, basically a compass with mountains on it. And then uh, tons of mods. Uh, this grill, I got it brand new. It had, uh, it was uh, a collapsible grill. And I took all the mechanisms off and I mounted it to the fender on a T-rail. So it just slides onto the fender. Very nice. And then got a pole and I modified this so I can adjust it to whatever height the camper was sitting because it changes all the time. That's pretty slick. I also made a rack for the grill on top. And the rack up here is made specifically for that grill. I just throw it up there and strap it down. And nice, so you're carrying the grill up top when yes, you're traveling? Yes. Really nice. So tell us about this awning. Um, just an Amazon awning. You know what brand it is? No, you know, that's a good question. I don't remember. You is like it? It's been sturdy. Yeah, and... Actually, it's worked quite well. I can't complain. We'll find it's, out uh, what awning that it's is. It's an. Uh, I don't know what the name brand on this one is. Nice. I think it's on the cover, baby. So tell me about the propane and the tongue okay. box. Uh, what I did was I put in a 10 inch mattress, took every the whole storage out from underneath the bed, and that's how this came to be. So everything that was underneath the bed is now in this box. Can we open it? Sure. Just lift up on it. Oh, I got take it. So nice. So we're seeing this a tools. lot, you know, a catch-all for some right. for well, some tools, the water hose, hold the batteries. And now you're rocking two 20-pound tanks. Yes. This one, since you can't run a propane uh device that has a regulator already on it the side port this tank is high pressure to that side port i put a high pressure hose on there so i can hook my grill up and it'll work fine because it already has a regulator so what we're talking about here is the bushwhacker comes with a quick connect for propane now typically it's post regulated so you have to use straight hoses with no regulator to use with devices like this grill. So what we did here is he hooked up a high pressure line here to give a lot more versatility and to allow you to use a much wider variety of propane appliances. I love it. And this grill looks pretty nice. Oh yeah, this is my toolbox. This propane tank is uh, stock one that runs the cooktop, the furnace, um, everything, and that's pretty much all, all it runs, but this is the, the one that's regulated off of this tank, and this one's high pressure. Nice. And then, uh, coming down the side here, everybody knows what this is, or where this was. Oh, that's the, the sprayer port yeah. from the galley. <laughs> Very nice. Gives you a spot to spray things right, off. so I can hook my hose up, and... You know, use it. Very it's nice. Anything. I also put in a uh, cable port, so I can watch cable TV. And that's kind of it on this side. I moved the switch for the pump closer to the sink. And the way the cooktop used to be here, and the other sink was here originally. And then I moved the cooktop oh, here. Okay. Very nice. So that's where it is now. And the furnace is still here, it's still the original uh, furnace. See, this is amazing, and you're being modest here, but this is a total gut and replace. I mean, a whole new countertop. Um, you know, very, very nice.
Uh, Thirty awesome. core per push I, RV. Found these uh, bars, so you just lift it up from anywhere. Nice. And you slide it down. This is that 30 port. Now that's slick, so it's the same style of lift, but we use the C channel here to be able to lift and close. Very, very nice. Yeah, do the same thing. Now it's coming down on us. We're gonna have to take a break. Yeah, when I remodeled this, um, I took the pump was underneath here, and I made this all storage now. And I took the pump and I mounted in a waterproof box right under the right under the back here. See, that's right pretty there. handy. And now that style of 12 volt pump, they use those on boats too. It's like a bilge pump. Yeah. So, I mean, that's a pretty weather resistant part. Right. Um, and it's very, very smart because you have plenty of space down there. Right. And I bet it gave you a lot more storage. Yeah. Show me these uh, that was, cabinets. That was the point. Right. These well, cabinets that, look really nice. Well, basically, this cabinet is <laughs> what it is full of stuff. That's <laughs> right. how, how it should be. And mainly, it's, I have it's all, actually I have tape. It goes all the way there. back. That holds um, all of our dishes and pots and pans. Right. And then I uh, moved the heater duct on this model was on this side by mm -hmm. your feet. And since I got such a taller bed, your feet were like right on top of it. So I moved it over to the center. So it's coming out right in the center of the inside of the cabin. So hinges, I struggled on what I was going to use on this thing to make sure that it wouldn't come open as I'm driving. Because I know hinges on campers are. Uh, fun. And what I did was I took these little aluminum um, angle iron and mounted the one piece of the hinge on here and then the other piece on the doors. And these are adjustable so you can tighten them or loosen them as much as you want. So they close really tightly and none of them open this whole trip. That is a really, really nice galley. I love what you've done with it. I love the tile, the looks, and it's just so much more functional. Then, yeah, so uh, we have countertop space now. It's awesome. Um, before nice. the original galley, you didn't have any countertop space because you had the cooktop on top, the sink, and a cooler. And now we have places to put things. Like the curd is number one thing that's got to go up there. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and you even got a Keurig to match the kitchen. Actually, I think we matched the galley to the curd. <laughs> <laughs> I moved everything up. Like I said, the heating duct I put in the center, and then uh, CO and everything I moved up because we're so much higher than it was originally. Uh, we, I removed all the storage to put this 10-inch Serta mattress in here in a box. I bought it, brought it here, put the box inside and opened it up. <laughs> and it's so been there. Steve got one of those packaged mattresses, a 10 inch, that, that's gonna be pretty comfortable. But I also love the idea that you fit it in in the box. Do you think you could take it out if you had to? Yeah, yeah I think I could. Yeah. If you can fold it up to get it in, you know, to get it in a box, I'm pretty sure I could fold it up to get it out. <laughs> At least not, not like it was in the box. Well, anyway. we did because we had to take it out to go. So I'm asking Steve about these two outside lights. On this FB model, most of the time the switch turns them both on at the same time. I'm noticing that he's got some independent control with switches on each side. That's definitely different. How did you pull that off? Um, it was actually quite easy. On the side the switch is on originally, the wires run across the top. So all I did was hook a another wire hooked it to positive and then I pulled the other wire through the new wire through all the way to the other side and hooked it and put a switch in there and hooked it to the switch and then hooked the original wire to the other light. Now I really like this and I think it's going to help some people out because I've done this before for people that have the 10 FB but I've done the dual rocker switch here. So to pull it over to both sides the, the is pretty is, nice. Is if I want to get out on my side. Exactly. And I need a light, I have to reach across my wife. To and a lot of times out. you're coming in from the outside to flip the light on. Exactly. So if you're coming on the driver's right, side, so it doesn't matter. that's, I think I'll steal that. I have a 10 SS, yeah, but yeah, when yeah. I'm working on others, I think that'll be no, the go to it's, now. It's worked out phenomenally, phenomenally. I really like it.